Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And I apologize that it's been a few days since I've last been able to upload a video. I've been pretty busy just taking care of things going on in my life. So again, I apologize for that. And I thank you all for your patience. And I also thank you all for your support on my last community post. Um, I won't go into details about it here, but I am grateful for all the love and support that you guys are showing me. So again, thank you so much for all that. So for this episode of Machine Drum Mondays, which is going to be episode 15, we're going to be checking out Thomas Hock. His name has come up quite a bit and has been on my list of drummers to check out for a while now. So that's why I'm finally getting around to checking him out. Although I am familiar with Meshuggah, they've been around for so long, uh, since 1985, I really had no idea where to start as far as which song to pick. So what we're going to do is something a little different. We're going to check out our friends over at Loudwire. They did a video called 10 times Thomas Hawk was the best drummer on earth. So I believe if they did this video justice, they're going to have a pretty decent compilation of some great performances by Thomas. And that's what we're going to check out today. And if there's something that you guys want me to more laser focus on, I know everybody checks out Bleed. That's been like kind of almost their flagship song as far as um, old fans and brand new fans from a sugar. But I wanted to do something different than Bleed. So if there's something other than that you guys want me to check out, let me know. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this video. Oh, uh, and the disclaimer that I normally give, the link to the original video will be down in the description if you do not want to hear me talk or don't want to deal with any pauses. Okay, that is all. Well, needless to say, uh, we got some polyrhythms going on here and a nice blend of hard accented snare hits mixed with some ghost notes make this a very interesting song to try to vibe to. But for some reason, even despite all the polyrhythms, you can still concentrate on where the downbeat is in order to, in order to do all that. And that's a testament to how... Tomas is able to to make these polyrhythm techniques more palatable to like the casual listening ear. And that's no easy feat. That may have just seemed like a simple snare roll, but there was more to it than that. First of all, he was keeping the odd time signature going with the hi-hat. And it's not too often that you see drummers in this particular genre keep time with the left foot with the hi-hat because there's so much focus and emphasis on the left foot and double bass patterns that oftentimes the, the bare bones foundation for drumming being keeping that that um keeping the beat going with the hi hat whether it's on every quarter note or if it's every eighth note you don't see it a whole lot but here despite the odd time signature he was still able to keep the hi hat going so not only is his ability to smooth and blend the polyrhythms into the rest of the guitar parts and the chords done in a superb way but his limb independence is also exceptionally top notch. So absolutely incredible. And don't take what looks like simple movements that he's doing for granted. I guess I should have known this was going to be on the list. Where was the last time 
What's interesting about Bleed is the song is basically Tomas acting like the, well, all drummers are essentially like the, the clock source, so to speak. But in Tomas's case, for that song in particular, there's not a lot of fills in it. There's not a lot of transitional changes. It's a very straightforward song with, I think, maybe three or four core segments to the to the song. And the whole time, Tomas is just he's like a clock. You could set his you could set your watch to him with how he's able to do those polyrhythm techniques on the bass drums. And that in it in and of itself is no small feat, you know, pun intended on that. Because those rhythms, it can be very easy to get off of time with that. But he's able to just, just steady. I need to hear the whole song. I got to hear that one. I love how they're able to do that kind of build up. And in a live setting like that, that anticipation level must have been crazy. Good stuff. I just, whoa, okay. That song kind of blew my mind a little bit. Um, a lot of polyrhythm techniques going on in the drumming, but also lyrically, the vocals were hitting blow for blow with the same kind of upbeat, back on a downbeat, whoop, upbeat here, upbeat there, back on a downbeat. Like, that's really cool because the vocalist knows. Well, I mean, they've been a band for a long time, so they're very in tune with each other's style musically. But even in a live setting, the vocalist was right there on it. He's like, nope, Thomas, you're going to do this? All right, I got you with this. Boom, 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 boom. Very in sync with each other. That comes from years of practice and a whole ton of chemistry. Some of them feels weren't juicy. Nothing he does is out of place. It all has a musical lane within the song that it fits into. Every accent with the symbols that he's doing, every hi-hat sticking pattern that he implements, it all fits right into its perfect little pocket in the song musically. Man, and the guitars and the chords and the riffs are right there along with them too. Man, just the kind of... Pro okay, this... Mm. This is just astounding. That's just the only word I can think of for it.
Man, that was good stuff. Um, I know that that only barely scratches the surface of Meshuggah's catalog, and I'm sure they've got a ton of more incredible songs in their catalog. I Wow, I'm going to need you guys' help uh, to help kind of guide me on the Thomas Hawk journey. Help me navigate through this extensive and amazing musical catalog that they got. I'm going to need help. So <laughs> you guys comment and talk to me there and let me know what I should be checking out and what I should be listening to. So also, I, I still see all the recommendations come through. I've got a lot of great video ideas, thanks to you all. Uh, some stuff has come through recently that's really landed itself on my radar. Uh, there's some stuff that I still got on my list from past comments that I got to check out. Man, I just wish I had more time in the day to be able to to get to everybody's requests. So I'm still trying to work a system out on how I can help facilitate what you guys want to see, but at the same time, keep some structure to the channel. So a live stream uh, is still in the works at some point. Um, I'm working out getting a decent like webcam for that. That way I can try to make it a good, high quality experience because I do want to talk to you all, like actually have conversation and real dialogue uh, because I'm curious to know what you guys think, what you guys think of the channel, what you guys think of the content, maybe some ideas for direction on where to go. Uh, should I keep going with, you know, doing drum covers? Cause I see a lot of music reactors out there. They don't, they don't showcase um, what they're capable of musically on their own. A few of them do. Uh, but a lot of times it's like you're take, you're assuming that this person says they're a metal musician or just a musician, but they don't have any content out there of them performing, playing, nothing. You just kind of take them at their word and the things that they're talking about. But I, I like to actually show that not only this isn't just for show back here. I actually, you know, I actually do play music and I want to show that to you guys, um, even though I understand that reaction videos to certain topics are going to get way more views than most anything that I do drumming wise. Um, you know, I, I get that's just kind of how the ball bounces, you know, at least until I get a bigger audience. But uh, for those of you that are supporting me, no matter what I do, just know that huge heartfelt thanks go out to go out to you all. So thank you. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. Um, yeah, stay tuned to the end screen to see more content. And if you enjoyed the content here, please like, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell notification. That way my videos don't get completely hidden and buried underneath everything else you guys got going on on YouTube. I greatly appreciate it. Until the next one, guys, take care.